On the heels of his State of the City address and ahead of the NFL draft, we are going one on one with the mayor tonight. Yeah, Mayor Duggan, thank you so much for joining us tonight. So, Mayor, a big night for you last night at the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church over on the west side. And one question, with so much focus on what's happening in the week, the NFL draft coming here, why was it so important for you to focus on the future of neighborhoods, knowing that so many people are going to be downtown uh, living up? What is the momentum about downtown? You know, it seemed like the right time to do it because I felt like the eyes of the country are starting to shift to us. And I... Uh, but everything has started with the neighborhoods. We're making enormous progress in the neighborhoods. We had dozens of block club leaders there who are very proud of what they've done. And, of course, the folks in, uh, along Dexter never thought that neighborhood is coming back, and it's coming back strong now. I think you made a good point, too. Obviously, there's a lot of attention in the city and Midtown, and it is good to see the changes in the neighborhoods. Let's talk about what you're doing in terms of these junk vehicles, because I know yeah. you put a lot of attention on that. Yeah. So you're going neighborhood to neighborhood, you know, really attacking this. Uh, you know, people are so fed up with the mm -hmm. uh, cars with the flat tires that have been out there for a month or two. And we've been at this since January, uh, mm -hmm. ticketed 5,000 cars. I bet you only a third of the way through it. Uh, but I, I just take pictures myself on the weekend. I send mm -hmm. them to the chief saying, you missed this one, you missed this one. I'm sure uh, he loves that text. Uh, uh, <laughs> I should, I mean, I, he was glad that everybody else got to see the semis and the different things that we found in the neighborhood. But we've gotten an enormously mm -hmm. positive response uh, that this is the kind of thing City Hall should care about. Yeah, Mayor, another big theme last night was public safety. You talked about uh, how crime is decreasing in the city, but you also talked about how Detroit is being innovative in making sure that neighbors are among those who are working to crack down on crime. Well, this uh, a shot stoppers program with the six activist groups we started a year ago, we didn't know what we were going to get. These were folks who basically weren't being paid, that were on the streets every day trying to, to uh, slow down the violence. And when we put real money behind them, they can get offices and staff up. They're proving uh, that having conversations with young people about different choices is making a difference. Yeah, and proof of performance with uh, how they're working to help crack down on crime is letting you know and letting city council know that you think you want to keep them around a little longer. Well, yeah, and, and each of them has their own zone. They get their scores every week, just like the police precinct captains do. Uh, and everybody knows you are what your record says you are. And they've done a phenomenal job. There's no doubt the shootings, particularly in that Warrendale area with Forest Detroit, they've been down 70 percent from a year ago. And a lot of the other groups are almost doing as well. Yeah. I know you put a lot of attention, too, on green energy, solar mm -hmm. energy in the neighborhoods. I think a lot of people put a lot of attention to it, but sometimes it's hard to get people on board. Uh, you know what I'm saying. So what, what's the plan there? Uh, so we're going to see what happens with city council. I think everybody has a responsibility to deal with climate change. And Detroit's in a situation now where we can be a leader. We've got the vacant land where the neighbors want it. We can switch over all 127 buildings to renewable energy, and we can get it done within a year. Uh, and so it's going to be an interesting debate at City Council, and hopefully folks who believe, as I do, that everybody has to play a role are going to speak up. Yeah. Another moment that got some huge applause was when you talked about Detroit Promise, that path yeah, to college yeah. through to free tuition. Yeah. So and it, every single Detroit child who goes to school and graduates from a high school in Detroit has their tuition for college guaranteed. That money is in the scholarship fund. It's going to be there for years. It takes a piece of the property tax revenues. And that's what I said. Talk to your kid if they're six years old, eight years old, ten years old. Because you live in Detroit, your college tuition is guaranteed. I want to talk a little fun because we were talking on the commercial break about the NFL draft. Yeah. Obviously, everyone's so excited. What would be your thing if someone's coming into town or you're bringing somebody in saying, listen, don't miss A, B, or C? What, what's what? What excites you? I would say the river walk. And mm -hmm. the fact is, you know, the draft doesn't start till 7 o'clock uh, Friday night, 8 o'clock on Thursday night. Uh, and so people will be here all day. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot are going to be directed to the river walk. But we also are going to have tours to say, here's where the Motown Museum is. Here's where the Avenue of Fashion on Livernoy is. We're going to try to get folks out to see the real city of Detroit. Get them in the neighborhoods. Yes. Yeah. And some of these restaurants, too, and businesses. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Mayor Duggan, thank you so much for your time. We really do appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. Thanks, Mayor. Now, Mayor Duggan's State of the City address last night included a big surprise for a Detroit senior citizen who found out one of her favorite places in the city will soon bear her name. We catch up with Helen Moore, new at 6.